Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 107, getting towards the end of June. In fact, this is our last meeting of June. Uh, we all know it happens next month, but we'll cover that in a minute. Uh, as always, these meetings are recorded for those people who are unable to be with us right here, right now. So, we'll talk about the Wix 3.10.3 update, hopefully the second to last time we talk about that. Uh, then we'll do a little triage. I need this meeting to go a little faster, so I'm skipping the pull request. Um, and then we'll do any questions, comments. But since it looks like only John's joining us with us right here, I expect there won't be a whole lot of questions. So Wix 3.10.3 update. Sean, you want to say anything since you were on vacation last week? And we'll just put you on the spot. Um, it sounds like I should go on vacation when we want to do a release. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a good point. Um, yeah, we haven't had any feedback about this, which hopefully means we're good to go, right? Yeah, I'm hoping no news is good news, so looks yeah, okay. good. Yeah, so far so good. So we're still on target for July 4th. Yep. So we'll do that song and dance at the, end, at the beginning of next month, and uh, hopefully the next meeting, which is July 5th, we'll be doing a little song and dance. Yep. So, all right. Yes, and thanks, John, for putting some notes out that things look good for the set of things that you can test. So. Let's roll on from here to triage. Bob, you ready? I don't know. We have a huge pile today. I know. Actually, this is this is this is not bad. I don't. It's summer, right? Everybody's off and enjoying the quiet or something. Um, this is a bug that was opened and then closed with nothing ever filled in. So I think they accidentally hit open and then closed it because they didn't want to see it. But haha, -ha, we saw you. So anyway, I think we can resolve this as not an issue. List of index index lists of list variables. Oh, several providers and so on. So he has to define this. He uses a for each. But I need to set a provider ID as well. He wants an incremental value that corresponds to the provider's position in the list. I like a for each that so, gives you the index and the item. I so don't care about for each. Yeah, um, for each is really easy to abuse. Yeah, and it's a feature I wish we didn't have. So, um, yeah, right. Actually, that's a good point. This might, this is probably a, he might have crossed over the line to writing extension being more worthwhile than all that. For sure. It certainly will be easier to read in the end. Uh, so, uh, what are we resolving as meh? Uh, this clearly will be... Suspend. Yeah, so let's put it in 4x, suspend, and we might draw the recommendation of, hey, you might consider using an extension. You probably crossed over to the level of complexity where extension will make your life much, much easier. Yep. Once you get written over the extension. But probably the maintenance of that will be much easier. So, cool. Good idea, John. I hadn't thought of that one. Oh, a Wix configuration unique name throw. Yeah, oh, this one was interesting. So someone's gone off and created some extension to Visual Studio, and they're futzing with the platform and configuration in a way that Votive is unhappy. And so, yeah, something in Votive needs to get smarter about unique naming and configuration manager manipulation to handle this. Um, so... I suppose we can just suspend this in four as well and go, yeah, if someone wants to go fix it, we take it in four if it was a good fix. Well, th this I don't want to suspend it. I mean, I think this is a, a real issue, and in it's Votive? not that we're not uninterested in fixing it. It's yeah. just we don't have anyone working in Votive. All right, cool. Let's put it in four, put it in Votive, and say, yeah, someone could totally fix it. Honestly, it's probably going to be this guy, given... He knows probably more about configuration management than any of us, <laughs> all of us combined. Once, you, once you show that you know, you know Visual <laughs> Studio integration. That's Big trouble, sir. Yeah. Um, allow contact and comment attributes on a bundle element. Uh, this is a reasonable ask. Um, do we not have a registration element? I thought we had somewhere where we put these things. Well, so it's funny, and I think you we have it this internal. Here. It's actually. It is part of the manifest, but there's no authoring support for it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Um, yeah. Yes. Oh, 
the ARP thing. Do we not have? We don't have a. No. We we had we one want, at some point. It. Or something. Yeah, we have this big debate as to whether it's a child element or do we just shove everything on top of the um, bundle element. Well, right. if if we make it a separate element, then we can use the same thing for packages as well as bundles. An ARP concept, kind of like what Bar Burn did internally. Yeah, right. Uh, all right. Well, uh, yeah, let's put it in four. It's a new feature. Um, this, this gets back to the design, because I've been toying with the idea in 4 of renaming the product element package in Wix to better align with what it is, because product is kind of a hangover to an old Windows installer concept that isn't used anywhere, and then right. get rid of the package element and fix all that up. Um, and this kind of falls in that same bucket of all those things. So it's kind of like when we do this, we probably should think about it all up. It would be good to think about it all up in relation to how all these things fit together. Sure to make it easy to do the package or bundle. Um, exit code from burn bundle is not available to call in process. Mm, it should be. It is. Okay. So we just need to say... There's there's uh, there's some oddities, and because it's PowerShell, um, there's some oddities when you have multiple processes. Okay. And so, you know, I mean, obviously... Burn supplies an exit code. It, you know, kind of has to. Gosh, um, I hope so that'd be a really bad bug. Right. Um, but I think what's happening here is the, the the start process thing doesn't work as is for what they're doing. All right. So it's a PowerShell thing. Yeah. So I I went looking and found you know a Stack Overflow question that kind of I think clarifies that the same the thing. All right. Cool. So the PowerShell help. Yep. Um, need pass through. Well, he has passed through, so I don't know what his issue is with him. Um... So. All right. Well, that's that, I think. So this is not our bug. It's a PowerShell usage bug, which is all good. That was quick triage, which means we're not doing a pull request today, so this is going to land kind of the way I hoped of a short meeting today. So questions, comments, anything else going on with people? 3.10.3, go download it, go use it. I'm speaking to the choir, obviously, here. Um, but anybody else that's watching this later, hopefully not too much later, because we have about a little less than two weeks. So um, to, if there is a blocking issue, which we hope there isn't, but if there is, we'd like to know beforehand, then let's get that done and declare victory on 3.10. Please, 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 please. Um, and move on to um, 3.11, and then we'll talk about... Um, how about we make a stake in the ground, say, July 5th, we will hopefully, if we've declared Victor on 3.10, we will talk about the plan for 3.11. Sound good? Sure. All right. All right, we'll kick Sean off the presentation stage, and we'll make Bob talk more. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> or something like that. Um, all right, well... Given that, I think we're in a good place. So until next week, you guys have a good one. Bye. Bye. Bye.